Twitter. Thank you for joining me for That's The Way It Is. I'm your host, BC. Today, I'm going to uh, quote a scripture of Psalms 145.8. It says, The Lord is gracious and full, and full of compassion, slow to anger, and of great mercy. Okay, let's talk about how great God's mercy is. Because I'm going to tell you what. Seeing what's going on today, God's mercy is really great. I mean, think, take your life. Okay, er, there is nobody walking the face of the earth that's saying that, you know, that can say is that they're going without sin. Some way, shape, or form, you may know it, you may not know it, but some way you're sinning. But see, God forgives us for that, and uh, He loves us because we are His creation. You know, I've seen a, uh, and you may have heard it, I think it was called, it, it, where a guy, he, he dies and he goes to hell, I think it's like 34 minutes in hell or something. I mean, that is something. And you know, he said he felt like he was in there for weeks. You know, it, it, it's crazy. You know, but yet, you know, we choose to be there. That's the sad part. We choose to be there. It ain't like, you know, uh, and to be honest with you, you know, at one point, you know, we didn't have a choice. But, you know, Jesus came down and he died for us and gave us that choice. So we had that option to where we, we got to go there. But yet, we rather go. You know, you ever heard that saying, uh, going to hell in a basket? Well, you know what? I don't even think we got a basket going, you know, the way things are going now. I mean, just, just look at what we're doing. I mean, we, we're we letting things go. And, you know, and us as Christians, we are just turning, you know, turning our back to it and saying, you know, well, you know, uh, we'll pray for them. And, yeah, yeah, come on now. I understand prayer. And prayer is a very powerful tool. You know, Jesus, he prayed. You know where we got, and that's where we got the Lord's uh, prayer. But my thing is that you know, yeah, we can pray, and you know, we can we can do everything that uh, you know, people you know people are leading themselves to believe to make it okay. You know, they're saying, well, you know, we're gonna pray about it; it'll be okay. Uh, uh sometimes you got to take a stand, just like that guy did over in Reno. He took a stand. We got to take a stand, you know? We got to say, you know what, enough's enough. You know, everybody wants to complain about something, but nobody wants to do anything. And to me, that's just stupid, you know? If you if you have a problem with the way that the government is being run today, then you need to stand up and say so. You, don't, you can't leave it to everybody else or leave it to somebody else to take care of it. You know, you need to go ahead and put the word out there, hey, I am not happy with what's going on. This is not right. This is not the way, you know, the way this country was run. And this country has been successful. Now the country's going down a dark path. And unemployment is shot through the roof. People are without food. People are without a lot of things. But yet, we're still going down that path. Uh uh, that needs to change. We change that. You know, we don't let the, the government dictate us, we dictate the government. You know, by our votes and by us setting the, you know, and us not saying anything, that's letting them know that, hey, that's okay. You know, go ahead, give us more. And you better believe if you if you don't think that they're giving you more, look at news. Yeah, they're giving you more. And it's just, it, it's something. But uh, just thought I'd share that with you. Uh, I'm not, I'm not happy, and if you see my videos, you know I'm not happy with the way the country's being run. I think that, uh, you know, people that we vote for, or supposedly vote for, should do a better job. I mean, they, you know, the Republicans, they believe that uh, they're going to, that they're going to wipe out the Democrats, you know, come this next election. To be honest with you, I'm not for sure if they are or not, because, you know, the Republicans are just as bad, because a lot of this stuff they're sitting back there, just, you know, what they're doing, they're making deals back and forth, you know. I'm going to tell you what, if you got evil here, and you got evil here, you put them together, it's still evil. If you got evil here, and you got good here, you put them together, it's still not good. You know, you got to do good, you got to do uh, right. You know, that, that's the, and that's the bottom line. You got
got to do good, you got to do right. And you got and you got to do good, you got to do right to people you supposed to be taking care of. You know, it's just like if someone is living in your home that is uh, disabled or is elderly or you know uh, uh, some way need a help. You supposed to help them. You know, in any way you can. Just like if you get you get voted into office, you wanted the office to uh, better, be, you know, to do better in this country. Not to make it worse, but guess what? You guys are making it worse. So just wanted to share my viewpoint on that. Um, for some reason, I got up this morning, was thinking about it, and thought I'd share it with you. It's uh, different to what I wanted to talk about, but uh, that's there it is. I'd like to thank you for joining me. You have a wonderful day.